So Alan, what are we doing today? We're going to see your tartan get woven. Yeah, we sure are. So we are heading up to see Claire from Prickly Thistle. We're heading up to Edmonton, which is north of Inverness a wee bit. And we're going to see the first reel of the Kilted Yoga Tartan getting woven, because it's now officially on the Tartan register. So it's quite a drive. We're heading up the A9, um, past Abbey Moor, and then up to Edmonton. So we'll get you posted and going to talk you through part of the weaving process. After a three hour drive, we've just come to Edmonton, so just outside of Inverness, and we have come to Prickly Thistle headquarters. So it's time to go in and see Claire. So this is the box of all the different spools of thread that have gone towards making the kilt and then turned into these which have then been fed into this to make the warp for the fabric which is quite amazing this is all going to get pulled through to be pulled taut and then you get loaded into the loom so that this same pattern gets loaded back over it again and that'll make enough for back to back two kilts. Look at this, this is going to be my tartan. So that'll get woven through and it'll go a lot more black. How cool is that? So the reel has just gone through, down towards this, which is ready to go on the loom. So we are just leaving the Prickly Thistle mills. This is the first part of the mill that they've gotten since the Kickstarter, since their pop-up mill. Um, and they're going to be doing some more kick, some more crowdfunding stuff um, from April to get like the proper mills up. So we were able to see like the first reel going through and actually going through the motions of becoming the the first reel that will then go onto the actual loom and get woven together to be, so, to be the Kilt Yoga, Yoga tartan. So it's really exciting and we just picked up the official letter to say that it is now going to be, what well, is now already a completely registered official tartan. So I'll post up some stuff about that. Make sure you check out the blog because I'll post up some stuff for from today as well. So one of our main takeaways from this is that it is certainly not as simple as previously thought. I mean, we saw hundreds of threads that have been thread onto just the first reel by hand. Thousands. <laughs> Thank you for the correction. Thousands. And then that reel is then put into the loom and each one of the thousands of thread is put through manually. And then using the machine, a shuttle takes the same, almost the same pattern of thread through each one, lifting up different components of it to create that sort of standard tartan weave effect, which is really like quite complicated. So it's taken quite a while to get to the first part, but to actually do the weave towards the finished material will take about three days of somebody working like full long hours to actually achieve. So um, I think it's quite amazing to see like the story that we put down with all the dates and the numbers and things from Kilted Yoga on the cloth in that first reel 
and then also to respect the amount of time and dedication and manual work that is required to then do the second part. So yeah, really quite.